सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ Karma is working within us in this manner. There are emotional fields that we are going to get into in specific points of time. There are emotional fields that we are going to get into in specific moments of time. If you practice a lot of yoga or whatever, you are going to step into those karmic those emotional fields you are going to see anger arising you are going to see jealousy arising you are going to see fear arising it can be any emotion and you are going to be able to stand to that emotion passing through your system without saying i'm i am an angry person i am an anxious person i am a fearful person and so Okay, so karma is not taking you to do an action; is vibrating emotions around you. And where does these emotions come from? This emotion comes from a place where there is a deeper desire for being something. And Vedic culture teaches us. the most important lesson as an incarnated being because you are in the universe you are going to desire something it's impossible that life exists without desire desire is the manifesting force of the universe so since we are bound to have a desire what desire should we nourish cherish because all the karmic vibrational emotional fields that we are going to resonate they are going to be resonating from a latent or a deeper or a spiritual or a causal 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 desire sorry for that <laughs> sometimes the english doesn't go in the same uh, speed <laughs> and so if we understand that the desire are the genetic uh, potential for our existence jyotisha vedic culture will say try to create the biggest desire of your life to be at service of the universe of mother earth of the science of god of whatever desire to be a person where when you die the people around you will say this person was very helpful for us our life were better were uh higher because of the presence of this person this is the biggest desire that we should learn to be cultured by a not only vedic but vedic culture going on <laughs> let's see So, oops. Uh I need to just a second people because when they it's on um that big screen there are some little problems here. Now sharing the screen again. Okay. So, karmas are not inherently good or bad. They create by the unconscious desire vibration of fields that create emotions and these emotions as long as we are not practicing so much yoga these emotions are going to be the tools for karma to bind us the biggest problem that we have is that we have emotions that we are not able to stand withstand their power and when we learn this 
can come up period that there is a lot of good emotions coming and you're not going to be attached to them. There can come a period that a lot of bad emotions will come in this river and you will not be averse to that. Neither raga or dwesha. You are going to be able to be centered through the flux of time and vibrations. Just like the sun, sometimes it's exploding, sometimes the energy is decreasing. All the systems are flowing in time. And understanding time as a heterogeneous thing, it's important so we can navigate according to those time period specificities. That was the first slide. I know there are a lot of things, um, letters there, but they are just making a north. I'm not uh, saying that I need to speak about every one of those topics because this is not actually the course. I'm taking your reaction and you're seeing if you are alive, if you are sleepy, if you are prone to be open to what I'm speaking or not. And I'm following those re reactions, okay? I'm not market here in the sense that I'm dealing with you. I'm not speaking in YouTube and I don't know what you're um, interacting or not. There is a heart. For you too, <laughs> Emily. <laughs> and um, if you want to put any question in the chat about this first part, this is a good time. I'm going to drink a water and uh, we can move on to the more applied or concrete thing. Done. Let's go for the second slide. Om Gurave Nama, Om Gurave Nama. 